Hi, I'm Scott Leslie, and today I want to take a look at Lupo's new Super Panel Full Color 30. Now, Lupo is an Italian lighting manufacturer that's known for its original Super Panel, which is one of the brightest one by one LED panels on the market. Now, the engineers have now developed the Full Color 30, which is an RGBW light. Now, while a lot of lighting manufacturers are diving into the RGBW space now, Lupo has really broken the price barrier on this well made full featured light. Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 is comparable to Aries Sky Panel 30S. While it doesn't have as many bells and whistles, its light output, CRI, and features are very similar. What's not similar is its weight and price. With its power supply, the Sky Panel 30S weighs in at 23 pounds, which is about 10.4 kilograms. And the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 weighs in at 9 pounds with its power supply, which is about 4 kilograms. The street price of the Sky Panel S30 is $4,100, where the Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30 is just under $1,600. So now, for me, this is really exciting as an independent producer and shooter because it puts a good quality RGBW light in my reach, where for the Sky Panel, it would only be a rental item because I would never be able to afford it. If you want to run off a of battery power with the Sky Panel 30S, you're going to need two full size V Lock batteries. And with the Super Panel Full Color 30, you only need one V-Lock battery. Now, Lupo recommends that you use a 14.8 volt batteries, but I'm using a 14.4 volt batteries with no problems at all. Okay, so now I wanna dive in and take a look at all the features of this light. The Super Panel Full Color 30 has three different modes. One is a CTT mode, two is a HSI mode, and three is a, the RGBW mode. Okay, so let's take a look. I wanna put on my glasses so I can see a little better. All right, so here we go. You hit the mode button here, it brings up your mode. As you see right now, we're in the CCT. If I hold it down, it starts blinking, and then I can jump into my other modes. That's HSI mode, and here's the RGBW mode. All right, so let's just start with the CCT mode and go from there. So right now it's at 5600K. The dimmer is at 100%. Uh, by the way, so it can go all the way down from zero to like that. There's 1% and you can dial it all the way up to 100. And what's really nice about this light is it has a plus and minus green. So you can see right there, we're just barely over. So I'm gonna go over here to, to uh, negative one green. You can dial that into however you want, or you can dial it all the way up to plus one green. So depending on if you're working with other lights that don't match, you can match them up this way. All right, so let's dial it back in to zero green. All right, so you can see right now our color is 56K. Unlike other bicolor lights, this light, you can dial the color all the way down to 2800. So this is obviously much less than your standard 32. Of course, you can go 32. Then you can dial up to 56K and you can go past it all the way to 10,000K. So that's really nice. So on the low end spectrum, that'd be for like, if you're trying to emulate uh, like candlelight, you know, some, something really on the yellow side, or you can go all the way to nice blue 10,000K. All right, so right now we're gonna do 5600, so we're gonna dial that back in. Okay, so that's the CCT mode. CCT stands for Correlated Color Temperature, by the way. So now let's go to the HSI mode, which stands for Hue, Saturation, and Intensity. All right, so now we're in the HSI mode. This button here now becomes your Hue button. So if you see here, we can change the hue through, turn, just to turn, turn the knob and you pick your color. This button now becomes saturation. So if you look at it here, here is full saturation, or you can dial it down to, to no saturation at all. So let's go full so, so we can really see the colors. So right now you can go and just dial in the color that you, that you think is gonna be suited for your scene. So here we go, we're just dialing around. And there you have it. On here, it tells you the exact readout if you wanna repeat this later. So you, know, you can see the exact hue you got, the exact saturation. Of course, this, this knob here is always intensity. 
All right, so now let's go to the next mode. So again, I'm gonna hit mode button. I'm gonna hold it down, go up one. Now we're at the RGBW mode. Now the RGBW is a little bit different. So what you're gonna do is use this dial here. You turn it until the right letter is blinking. So let's uh, go with a red. So if we want to bring a red up, so here we go. I just added 20% red right here. Now, if you want to go to the green, we'll, we'll come on over here until the G starts blinking. And let's say we want to take some of that down. We'll take all the green out. So now we'll go over to the blue. And the blue is the same thing. We can just dial it right on down. And finally, you can come over to your white right here. And let's say you want more white light and it to be less intense. The white light will give you more exposure and will also uh, make your colors less intense. All right? So if we go past the modes, what else you get here? The first uh, screen is your DMX. You can change it from 16-bit to 8-bit. So depending on what you're working with, you can set that up. Um, here, you can turn the DMX on or off. And there's actually another screen that gives you that option too. All right, so then we come with what it says linear. So what this is, this is the curves for your intensity, so your dimmer. So you, you, the curve can be either linear right there, or you can go to quadratic or to logarithmic. So depending on the curve style you want, that's uh, what you can set. All right, so let's go back to linear. Okay, so next is Filtro. So Filtro inserts a smooth factor with the DMX or potentiometer, and so you can change that from standard to low or to high. Okay, we'll go back to standard. Okay, so next is presets. So Lupo has preset uh, 14 presets for you. So you can go through them here. So first is, is all red, and second is all green, third is all blue, and then from here there's the different ones that, that they have made. So, but after 14, you can, you can pre-assign your own presets from 15 through 19. So um, let me show you how, you how to do that. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the RGBW mode. Let's uh, make a different color. Let's, so let's uh, crank the blue up. Let's see, maybe we'll change the green here a little bit too. So let's go over to the green. Let's uh, put in some of that. So let's say we like this kind of soft pink color. So to save this to a preset, what you're gonna do is hit the up and down button at the same time to hold it down. So it gives you presets that you can do. So you can do, like I said, from 15 up to 19, you can save, save a preset. So let's do it to 15. So let's uh, click here, okay. So now it's been saved. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll go get out of the RGB mode, go back to CCT. All right, so now let's go over to presets. And if we hit this, now once we go up to 15, we should have that soft pink color, which is right there, okay? So now that has been stored, okay? So that's the presets for you. All right, let's turn it off. Okay, so next after presets is special effects. So honestly, a lot of these special effects aren't really great for video or film, but uh, they're good for like a party situation or something. Um, but there are more special effects that Lupo is gonna be providing soon. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, special effects. So the first one here is a strobe light. It looks cool in person. It doesn't record that great on video. So this is your strobe light. You can uh, change the speed of it. So this, this changes your speed. Okay, so then next there's a party mode which goes through different colors. So here is that. So I guess if you wanted colors changing in the background of your shot, you could actually use this one. And then there's a the cop card. So this cop card I actually, actually like, so this actually works for video. Um, so you can change again the speed of it here. You can actually change up the coloration slightly here too. So if this going on in the back, background of your shot, you could definitely believe that it's a cop car. Okay, so next is disco. So if you're feeling a little Saturday Night Feverish, you can uh, put that on. Okay, so that's all the, the uh, special effects right now. Uh, Lupo 
are going to be uh, adding a, a simulated firelight and also a simulated uh, TV flicker. So that'll be great additions. And after special effects, uh, it's the display 30. 30 means the display will only stay on for 30 seconds. You can change that to be on all the time. Okay, so then next is the fan. So you can turn the fan off and on. So if you have an actor really close, you can turn it off. But even, you can see I'm standing right here and the fan is so quiet, it's barely, barely audible. Okay, and then there's a reset to reset everything. All right, so that is all of the modes and all the functionality of the light. Uh, so there you have it. So as you can see, this is a really feature-filled light. And what I like about it is it has the same body as the original super panel, which is a technopolymer body with reinforced carbon fiber. And I can attest that this is a really durable light. I've had two of the original super panels now for over a year and a half, or about a year and a half and uh, they've been super durable and I haven't had any issues with them at all. So that was a quick look at Lupo Super Panel Full Color 30. Now if you're in the market for an RGBW light, it's certainly something you'd want to check out.